Okay, so now we want to make sure that uh, we have more than one city, one silo, and one missile uh, for each side. So um, in the previous uh, video, we, we kind of set up some lists. Uh, we used some lists to you know, hold uh, all those objects. So we're going to kind of do that and kind of put that a, a little bit, uh, we're going to use that, that, that feature. Okay, so let's let's take a look at what it's going to look like once we're done. So now we're on number seven. Let me pull that down. So I've got six cities. I got three silos. Ooh, I've got. I didn't realize how many uh, enemy missiles I had coming at me. Um, it's kind of slowing down there a little bit, but that's to be expected. Out of missiles. Boom. Okay, well that was pretty fun. Um, so that's what we're going to be working on now. Um, so one thing you, you might have noticed there uh, was not only were there multiple enemy missiles, um, but you know I also had uh, ten missiles here, ten missiles here, and ten missiles here. So basically, we need to come up with a way to you know place all these missiles, uh, place all the cities where we want them in the, in the silos, and then to when I click the mouse, I don't know if you noticed that, but whatever missile silo is closest is the missile silo that shot uh, the missile. So that's uh, one of the things you'll see here in the code. Let's get to it. Um, so the first thing is creating all of those different objects. Um, so that part is down here. So just as a reminder, you know, a class you know, defines an object. It just tells you how an object behaves and what it can and cannot do. Uh, it's the you know, we're making a list. We're making the list the basically the instances of the object. Okay, so um, now what I could have done, okay, is calculated everything just kind of manually. Um, so I could have just gone cities append, and then I said I want this first city at minus two hundred. I want minus two fifty. I want the next one at minus one fifty. They're all at minus 250, so um, I could have done this. Okay, so then I got minus 50. And notice I am appending each city to the list of cities. Okay, so I'm appending a city, an instance of the city class, into my cities list. Okay, so square green, and here are the x and y coordinates. Now, what I can do. Uh, because I guess because I like math um, is actually that should be 50. Uh, is I started at negative 250, 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100 plus 100. So I just basically did like a little bit of a math formula here. It does the same thing. Okay, so for i in range six, so it starts at zero and goes to five. That's how the range uh, function works. So Two, negative 250, 0 times 100 is 0. Uh, that rotates around, then 1 times 100 is 100. So negative 250 plus 100 is negative 150, and so forth. Um, I did the same thing with the silos, because there are three silos. Now the missiles are a little bit different. I have 30 missiles. Okay, So from missile 0 to 9, the x is negative 350, because that's where my uh, silo is. If it's less than 20, so that's from 10 to 19, it's in the middle, because x is 0. And otherwise, it's all the way over here at 350. Okay, again, that just, it just works out mathematically. Um, so I, I appended the missiles. There are white circles with an x based on this calculation. Um, now, the enemy missiles, I made 30 of them. I put those guys at random xy coordinates from negative 450 to 450 and to 400 800 okay so they're basically they're basically up off the screen and then so they're coming down at kind of different different angles and things and here's the interesting thing so for enemy missile in enemy missiles okay if random dot random 0 10 is greater than 5 so basically for half of the missiles it will set a target 
and it will set a target from a random choice of the cities. Okay, so I didn't want to I didn't want to launch all the 30 missiles. This only launches 15. Okay? And that that's it. This code down here that we did in the previous video um, already went through each list. So no matter how many items I have on the list, uh, this code is going to work. Okay, so basically, the only thing in this video was I made an empty list for each of those items, appended. Yeah, you know, just did some calculating for the uh, x and y coordinates. Again, you could have done it. You could have done it manually. You don't need all these this loop stuff. Um, same thing here. You could have done it manually, and yeah, it would have, it would have been just as easy. And this is this I think worked out pretty well. We made the missiles, and then for some of them we decided to target them on the city. Okay, so in this case it should be about half. You know, just just for practice purposes. Um, the other thing that we need to look at is if you recall, I said earlier like depending on where you click, um, it will find the nearest missile. Okay, to you. So how that works is up in our click method. Remember that was part of the missile command, which is a game object. So basically what we have to do is find the closest missile. Okay, so basically we start out closest missile equals none, because we don't know which missile that is. Okay. So then we said, I just picked this number, it could have been any number, but it had to be a large number. So the closest missile distance. Okay, so for player missile and player missiles, so for every single missile, okay, if that missile is ready, because we don't want to deal with missiles that have already exploded or missiles that are launched, okay, we calculate the x coordinate, the difference in the x's from where I clicked, this x is from where I clicked to where the missile is. The B, which is also the y, difference in the y coordinates. Again, this is the Pythagorean theorem. Calculate the distance. Now, if the distance to that missile is less than the closest missile distance, so I, like I said, I use 10,000, so any missile is going to be closer than 10,000. 10,000 is really far off the screen. Then that makes the closest missile the new player missile. And the closest missile distance uh, is now that distance. So, like if there's a missile 1,000, say a thousand away, that's the new distance. Now it goes all the way through, okay, and actually I should put a break there, but uh, no, I shouldn't. No. It has to check all the missiles to make sh to find out which one's the closest one, okay? So at the end of this loop, it will either have none or we'll know what the closest missile is. So if there is a closest missile, okay, if it's none, it just skips this, but if there's a closest missile, then that missile gets set to the target. And that's how we choose the closest missile to fire against the enemy. So let's take a look at that one more time. This is actually kind of fun. Okay, so there should be about 15 or so missiles coming at me. So notice I'm in the middle here, so the middle ones are firing. If I'm over here, fires from here. Oh, that was actually a little closer. And okay, so I have three cities left and three silos. Um, yeah, that's that. So I think that should get you to a pretty good s spot in the game as well. Um, now it's actually, like I said, turning into a, a real game. So cool stuff.